Hello online sellers, Jordan Malik of JordanMalik.com. want to show you how Clear Pro works. If you're unsure what I'm referring to, head over to this page, JordanMalik.com slash Clear Pro. to give you an introduction to my latest uh, Chrome add-on. This is great for online arbitrage folks who like to do a lot of sourcing online to resell on Amazon. So here's a product on Amazon. And uh, after you've installed Clear Pro, uh, you'll see the icon up here, my mug shot um, after you install it when you scroll down to virtually any product on an Amazon page clear pro overlays these buttons okay so what you're seeing here is kinda like an overlay R truly doesn't exist on the Amazon site itself this is just a function of your browser your browser is kinda painting these buttons on here and uh, you'll get uh, camel 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 data Keepa data which is another price tracker or sales history tracker for Amazon shopping.com which is an online site of other you know to find uh, other stores that buy a particular uh, that sell a particular item Google shopping same concept as shopping.com there's another website that shows you prices of item uh, the item across different stores eBay completed listings this will show you the completed listings and eBay listings the current live listings that are not sold yet this button opens them all okay so what it'll do is when you uh, select any of these buttons it'll do a search for the item based on the title or in some cases the ASIN the Amazon ASIN okay so what I'll do is I'll go down here and I'll select open all so it'll, it'll open up all this information on the subsequent tabs to the right see up here how it's opening these tabs automatically okay so um, the let's let this load up for a little for a second and now that all the tabs are loaded up here we'll take a look the uh, it'll do a search for the item uh, completed listings on eBay okay and it's doing a search based on the title okay so it's plugging in the title automatically the title of the Amazon product and doing a search for it this the live listings you can see what it's selling for live on eBay that's items that are not sold yet the Google Shopping results to show you the uh, item from other stores. Okay, Shopping.com, which is a lot like Google Shopping results, it'll show you the item if it's available in other stores. Okay, and it'll give you the Camel 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 data. I do not own Camel Camel Camel. This is a site that's frequently used by other uh, sellers to check seller price, sales rank, right, the history of the item. Okay. And Keepa, which does uh, something very similar, it shows you the sales rank, trending, and the price. Okay, so here is an example of the item that I found. Twenty one ninety five, and um, you know I kind of keep an eye out for party oriented products that I think are selling too high. I think the original retail price on this must have been six dollars ninety nine cents. The sales rank is 130,000. That's still within the top three or four percent of the entire toy category. I enjoy these little niche items, particularly when there's only a handful of sellers, because I like to find them uh, and source them online if I can to buy and then resell on Amazon. So of course, Batman is a character that's always popular. Party supplies are always needed. When you start viewing the tabs that I opened up automatically using the Clear Pro buttons here, when I selected Open All, you'll begin to see uh, what the item is sold for on eBay. And you can see right here that a bunch were sold by this uh, supplier for five, uh, excuse me, this seller on eBay for $5.49. And that gives you an idea. Um, when I first saw this, these items were still available. This guy had 16 of them. Uh, if I uh, had my uh, Clear Pro plugin working uh, back then, I would have likely bought all of them because I've, I'm paying $7 or roughly $7, $8 a piece. For them times 16 and the current Amazon price is $21 so it'd be very simple for me to acquire that item uh, on, e on eBay at the time and then resell them on Amazon for a profit okay you can see the current prices the live listings on eBay and the next tab and it looks like some sellers have caught on and they're also selling it at a much higher price okay uh, there's ones of other stores. Here's somebody who's selling it for $9.99. We'll just take a look here and see who this is. Uh, looks like it's on eBay as well. Uh, Google, excuse me, this is shopping.com. And I don't see the identical one. I see some similar ones, not the identical. Uh, 
better. And what you can always do is, um, you know, reduce some of the number of words here. So the, again, this field in shopping.com is populated automatically. This is based, this is taking the exact title from Amazon. So maybe you want to go Batman and Friends, Giant Scene Setter, take away everything else, right? And then see what happens there. Because you might see a search result that you didn't see before, okay? And this, of course, the automatic opening of Camel, Camel, Camel shows me the uh, trending price of that, right? You can see it's, as of late, the past few, several months, it's been $21.95. And Keepa, as well, is going to show me similar data. Okay? So that's how Clear Pro works, and you can start to see the power of that as you're browsing through items on Amazon you have access to all that data here. In the past, you would have to copy and paste or go to you know, use the individual plugin for Camel, use the individual plugin for Keepa, uh, go type in shopping.com, etc. So this is just nothing more than a time saver. I'm not producing anything here that's like some miracle button that you've never seen before. This is just a time saver. That's all it is. You know, sometimes when you're making decisions about whether or not to buy an item online, to resell on Amazon, you literally got minutes or sometimes hours. This is just to save you a lot of that time. So uh, head back over to uh, jordanmalik.com slash clearpro and look for another video link. It should be video number two where I show you clearpro in action again. Thanks for watching.